What's going on guys? TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're playing Extinction Eternal. We're going to get into some things today. So we're actually just up here hanging out. We've been doing a little bit of sorting, organizing, a little more base building, just kind of adding on to the stuff up here. We wanted to kind of make a better breeding area for the Pteranodon since we've kind of moved from the Griffin breeding to the Pteranodon breeding. Let me kind of show you what we got here. I'm going to do something with the windows because it does look a little crazy, uh, but I didn't want to go four high. So we just went three high. We've got the... Uh, lightning pteranodons here because they're pretty amazing. We've got the infernal pteranodons here, the poison, the fire, and the lightning. And there's a few other kinds, but those are the main ones that we're actually breeding right now. I did want to see, hmm, I think they all made their baby already. Let me see if I can make some breeding potions and do a second round real quick. I don't think I have enough to make a bunch of breeding potions. I have some. Let's see. I've got six, and I've got... Four more here. So we've got ten. We can make a few more sets of babies. Let's do this real quick. We're going to make sure we have a whole bunch. We're going to go ahead and put the element there. We're going to keep this mutation thing going. There you go. Because we've got ten on all of them right now. But basically once you send this again, it basically resets the buff. So that way we can actually have just a little bit more time to go through the breeding potion on each one of these guys that we're making babies with. Uh, which you only had to put it on the female version. So shouldn't be too bad here. So there's one there, because I really like this red and white color from the fire guys, uh, from the lightning guys. I love this blue and white. We're going to try and get that one going again. All right, so let's throw one on you. And it's just going to give us a few extra eggs so we have more potential. All right, you guys good? Sweet. Roll in there. Uh, in here, let's see. We've got quite a bit of females in here. We'll do this real quick. We should have enough to do all of them, if not most of them. There we go. There we go. All right, those ones are good. Female here. And this is an awesome potion just because it allows you just to reset the breeding time. There are also potions to, so you can actually do the uh, baby gestation time, or the gestation time and the baby grow up time. So those are really cool. I wouldn't really mess with too much with those. We let It's not too long of a process anyway. We like to pretty much do this and then let the eggs and the babies kind of grow up as we're out getting into trouble out in the world. All right. There's that one. Oh, that's still gestating. I didn't need to do that. Oh, I hope that didn't mess anything up. I forgot these guys gestate. Those are going to take a while. All right. Uh, let's see. I think just one more here. There we go. That should give us quite a few extra eggs and babies. So when we get back, we'll be able to do a little bit of more pteranodon stuff. I think there's already a couple eggs over here probably. Let's go like this. Let's go fertilized. Oh, yeah. Look at that. In fact, we're going to do this. We're going to take... Wait, that says it's from Sinestro. Is Sinestro still breeding? Hold on. I thought Sinestro was out here. Who are you having babies with? I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. That's really weird. He's not close enough to anybody to have babies. Sinestro's powerful. All right, let's go fertilized eggs. There's another one popping in. Nice. I'm going to turn this off for just a second. And then we will drop these here. All right, go ahead and turn that off, turn that on. There we go, that's all of them, nice. Oh, we got a couple that are ready already, too. Hey, look at that, Sinestro's been doing their thing. Prime Lightning Trend on 825. Did Sinestro somehow have babies with every single one of those? How are you taking over, man? I don't know, that is really, really weird because he's been parked right here for quite a while. Okay, it's a thing, it's a thing. Uh, we also got our top two griffins sitting up there so we can use those. Now what I want to do today is, let's make sure I have an infernal potion. The last episode we tamed ourselves a rhino. This rhino is amazing. Uh, it's not even the most, like the highest level. Let's put those back there, put those back there. I just need one infernal potion. And we're going to go jump on this rhino. Like I said, he's not the highest level. We did make a few babies of it. They did not come out real well. And their levels aren't great, so we'll, I'll show you them real quick. I think they're right down here. Oh, doors that way. I think I might add doors on all four sides because I get stuck in there a lot. Here you go. Here's our rhinos over here. So there's a few of them. We've got... Uh, oh, where's the baby? There's a baby with purple feet, and it looks absolutely awful. All right, so that's the clone. That's a clone. And that's the real deal, Crush. There we go. All right. So let's jump on our new buddy, Crush, here. This dude, like I said... Pretty amazing, pretty strong. We're going to show you what he's doing damage-wise. He's already got quite a few levels pumped, so he's up to, oh, wow, 16,000 damage. You'll see as we start attacking something here in just a minute. 
All right, free falling. There we go. Got it. All right, no damage, right? Good. All right, let's go hit some things. There we go. Four million with the charge. Now with no charge, it's at I think four hundred thousand, basically times ten. Oh no, two hundred sixty-six thousand. So not too much. So just with regular hit, he's not doing anything crazy. But once he gets to that, just full speed, uh, it is on. There we go. Five million. Absolutely crazy. Oh yeah, we're gonna cause some uh, a little bit of glitches on the server. There's gonna be some really really bad lag going. A level forty Arano. I really want one of these lightning Arenos. I really, really do. Not right now, but we're going to get one. We're going to eventually get one. I, I've never actually had a chance to tame those guys. Uh, but that Glowtail, what level? What are you? Poison? I've already got a poison. Aha. This guy, though. We tried to tame one of these a couple episodes ago, and we asked... Oh, no. I see you, Basilisk. Come here, dude. Get rid of that guy. Those guys, man. You know I don't like the snakes. All right. What do we got over there? A Eternal Alpha 380? No. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get this uh, Stego real quick. I, it's kind of an easy tame. I just it's something I wanted to get real quick because they are actually amazing at getting berries and stuff like that. From what I'm told, we want to test it out. So let's go. Who do we need out here? We need Stuart. All right. Let's make sure our Rhino's on passive. All right. Let's get this done. Shouldn't be too bad of a knockout. Should be uh, maybe six, seven hits because this guy is almost a red a million hit now. So there we go. It's going to push it all the way to two million. John Stewart is amazing, our Green Lantern. All right. Need him to go back and see what's going on with Sinestro making all those babies. There we go. Now, I still I love the, the Poison Pteranodon, but the Lightning Pteranodon is absolutely amazing. Uh, that's the one we've been using probably a little bit more. It doesn't do quite as much Torpor, but in terms of how much he can actually... Are you going to really attack that big guy? That's not smart. There we go. Uh, yeah, but the, the lightning guys, you don't have to worry about getting hit by lightning. And you do a little bit of a, a stun attack to the, to the guys that you're trying to tame, which is nice. There we go. Alright, let's eat this guy real quick. Make sure there's nothing that's going to get me. That arena might come down here. All right, let's throw the eternal berries on this guy. All right, just take a couple bites there. Kind of look around and wait. There we go. We might go ahead and put our poison guy on our shoulder too. So we will get a, a saddle for you. Can I just do a saddle here? Stego. Uh, I would need fiber and wood. I can get that together really quick. Let's do that. All right. Do we get fiber from this? I know we get everything else. Do I actually get fiber, though? I may not. Yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, no. It's happening. It's happening. Hold on. There we go. Take him out. There you go. Mess with me. All right. Need just a little bit of wood. Switch over here. I think I have an axe. There we go. There we go. All the wood. Now we can make a Stego saddle. I just, I just wanted to test him out real quick. All right, Stego. Bam. All right, throw this on you. Come here. And like so. Oh, man, he's fast. He's really fast. Oh, yeah, all the berries. Gathers a little bit of everything. This guy will definitely help out, help you get some more, uh, a better stockpile of eternal berries. There we go. And he's fast, man, he's fast. I wonder what kind of damage you can get up to. What kind of health do you have? Health is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 2.3 million starting off. Damage and speed's not even. Speed's at just flat 100 and he's already this fast. That is pretty good, man. I, I gotta see what his damage is. Hold on. Let's go test his damage and then we'll send him back. Alright. Anything? There's a corrupted guy we can take out. There we go. Get some more berries. Look at that, man. Absolutely awesome. This guy will help out a lot. Very cool. Good addition. All right, let's go hit this guy. Like so. So not like OP or anything, 35,000, but you could definitely get that up into the 100,000 range. That'd be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and send you back. We'll send you to the large dino pin. There we go. All right. 
Let's go get our bird, and then we'll grab our rhino, and then we'll go out and do a little bit more leveling. And what we want to do is level up just enough to where it's going to be worth it to turn him into an infernal. What level is he right now? He's already up to level 1108. That's a lot of levels added on top. Uh, we went around with auto and leveled up for quite a while with this guy. He wasn't doing much at first, but by the end, you can see what he's doing now. There you go, 5 million. Man, that is crazy. We, I'm thinking about going into the bad area. 5 million could get it done, but the problem is once we slow down, we're just not quite as powerful. And health is at 2 point... 2 million or 20 million? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3... 20 million. Okay, he's actually doing pretty good. Let me get out to the bad place, and then we'll take it from there. All right, a little nervous about being out here. We flew out to the... Or the teleported out to the actual bad place. This one's named Bad Place 2.0, so let's see. Gotta be a little careful. There are all the bad things and a lot of potential to spawn in the really, really bad things. There we go. I mean, we can one-shot most things, but once we start getting towards, like, some bosses, it's not worth trying. There we go. I don't really know my way around here. We usually follow auto through here, so we're just going to kind of head this way. There we go. Spectral Rock Drake 660. Wow. We should be taming some of these things. But today, the focus is the Infernal Rhino. We're going to get us a uh, Infernal Rhino and then test him out. And then we'll, we'll get something else done today, too. But that's the main thing I want to do logging on today. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's all over. Oh, crap. Hold on. I do have a teleport on him, right? Tell me I do. How did we miss? Hold on, hold on. Rhino. <gasps> we don't. We don't. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Sinestro. There we go. Come save the day, man. There we go. This guy's not doing horrible damage, but he, uh, he's going to end up killing my guy. There we go. Come on. Oh, what? No. He should not be able to do that. Alpha Jellyfish, he doesn't have that much health left. There we go. Come on. Got him. There we go. Where is he at health-wise? <gasps> he's out. Oh, I wasn't planning on taming one. And he's only a 320. He's not a high level. Hold on, but we can do this real quick. I've got the alpha meat. I've got the prime meat. We've got all the meats. Uh, let's go like this. There you go. Eat something. Should be just two bites. Come on. There we go. All right. Except that. Yeah, like I said, that was not planned. Definitely not planned. Let's get that meat back. Let's get you dino balled up. There we go. Awesome. All right. Let's get you on our... Oh, wait. We got our other buddy on our shoulder. I forgot we had you on our shoulder. All right. We're going to send you back. We're going to keep Sinestra with us now. Let's see. TBF. Tower. We'll pick you up. That way we'll get a little bit of lightning uh, help with us now, too. So we got to be a little careful. Uh, that's the big worry. We can't get hit too many times by the lightning or the torpor, guys. There we go. As long as we can one-shot them, we're fine. There you go. Three more levels. That's pretty good. Oh, that's a good number. 11-11. Let's go Infernal right now. Let's go back to a little bit safer place. So let's go back to... Let's go to Otto's, Otto's base. We'll go down near his base and we'll turn into an Infernal real quick. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Infernal Potion. Let's go ahead and hit the X button. Let's go ahead and grab the saddle. And there we go. All right, let's get out of the circle and wait for this guy to turn into an Infernal. Awesome. Now, hopefully, we're going to lose a lot of damage starting off, but he's going to keep the same level. He might lose one level, or he might gain a level. I think it's lose one level. So he's going to go from 1,111. He's going to be 1110, I believe. Maybe, possibly. And then he'll be the purple color, and then now we can go around and wreck shop as an Infernal. And hopefully, we're, we're crossing our fingers that he's going to be immune to the lightning damage and some of these other things. Uh, if not, he is supposed to be, so that's what we'll, we'll find out here in just a second. There we go. What's up, big purple? All right. There we go. Let's go with the saddle again. In fact, just so I'm not carrying it, you can have all this stuff back. Holy cow, a lot of stuff. Oh. We put a couple things we shouldn't have. 
There we go. There's a couple of things that I'll have back, but we'll get all that. We'll get that sorted out later. All right. Let's get the saddle on you. And we're going to give you these XP potions and get you started. XP, a medium one, a small one, and two tiny ones. <laughs> so it may not do much, but it might it might help out a little. All right. Let's go. Let's go this way. We'll go out into this side. All right. So right now, level 1110. This is where we're starting. 1,110. He's got one, two, three, one, two, three, 2.3 million. So we took a, a big j drop in that, but we're going to get that pumped back up. Melee is at 1,000 speed at 222. So that's kind of where he's sitting to start with. Now he should do... Uh, I don't know for sure. We've not tested this guy in a long time. If he does the infernal damage or not, let's let's find out. Let's get next to somebody and just sit there. Yeah, see the little buff going on him right now? He's actually losing health. Very nice. All right, starting melee, 30,000. Oof. That hurts a little. But we can get it back up. We can get it back up. That's just a big drop. Let's go take out these guys. There you go. 340,000 with a running start. So we're going to have to kill some... Uh, low level guys before we can get back to the actual dangerous place and Otto's not on right now for us to follow him around and level up That's usually our method is to say hey Otto you, you out eating things and then we follow him around while he's eating brood mothers And that's the way to do it. All right, we're gonna get you to 10 million health almost That's that's a good start. Let's heal you up and Let's try this one. Oh We're getting cursed. We got him though. Hopefully get some levels out of it all right okay go away there you go oh wait Anky. oh no it's anky we are on the lookout for a, a, a doid we need a new doid Our, ours is gone uh, long, long story short short version of the story is uh, this video is kind of pre-recorded it's right before we're actually about to finish our the last leg of our move where we actually jump on the plane and fly to the next place and there was a huge update where uh, everything was duplicated in order to fix some of the dino soul ball problems and the dodecarus ended up disappearing because of that So it's a thing uh, So we, we need a new one. Luckily dodecarus isn't too big of a deal All right, I'd be really sad if like our infernal griffins disappeared just because of how much work we put into Breeding them up to the levels that they're at. They're up over like a level 1100 now starting off, which is cool All right, we're gonna go down here. This is a little bit bad area So we gotta be a little bit careful uh, but we can handle some of the starting guys. There you go. We're up to 560. So yeah, not not too bad. Like I said we can we can creep into the beginning part of this. Anything past that, we've got no no chance. If there's a boss that comes in, we really don't have much chance. Let's go this way. All right, let's do this. Oh, we didn't get the the running attack. Oh, we're at the edge of the world. Turn. Get away from the edge. There we go. Get a running start on this guy. All right, we got it. Let's do it. Come on. 600,000. Not bad. How much health does he have overall? Probably a million. Yeah. It's going to take a while. Oh, we do have some more levels. Okay. Get him. Come on. Oh, come on. We're sitting there celebrating. We're still hitting while we're celebrating, so that's good. We got 300,000. Now, the nice thing is we're only doing 50,000, but we're doing that nice damage over time with the Infernal Flame. There we go. That will give us some big levels. We really, what we really got to find, we've got to find ourselves a Broodmother. That's the big points. What level is this guy? Alpha Jelly 380 and Alpha Jelly... I can't see him. I just want to see what level you are. I don't want to fight you or anything. 540. Ooh. That could be a thing. We could do it. We might come back and look at one of those. There we go. Get him. Give me your XP, please. Oh, what's that coming? Oh, Prime RG. There we go. Oh, we got a Spectral Crab. Look at that. Nice. He's gone now, but he was there for a second. Come on. This guy's going to give us a little bit of trouble floating above us. All right, let's heal up. Come on. There we go. Got him. Got him. 
Took a few shots. All right. Okay, this Spino could give us a lot of trouble. I think he's the one-shot guy. There we go. You gotta be really careful because he can one-shot you. Oh, look at that. A prime Spino. Nice. And a fighter, Thylacolio. All the good things spawning right now. Oh, wow. That, that alpha jellyfish is either about to knock out or already knocked out. All right. No, no, no. Don't get stuck right here. Get away. There we go. Let's go over here and turn around. There we go. Come on. Don't get hit too hard. Stay back. Stay back. Come on. Turn and hit him. Let's go. Don't hit the jelly. Oh, no, no, no. Get away from the jelly. There we go. A little bit higher. Come on. Knock him out. The spino could do some damage. We gotta be a little careful. Yeah, we were half health right there. We got 50,000. Got him. Nice, man. That dude was brutal. Alright. That's the 380 jelly. What happened to the other one? Did the other one get eaten? It may have. Is he knocked out? I can't tell. Yeah. He's knocked out. Or if he wasn't, he is now. Oh, something's spawned in over there. It doesn't say it's tame or anything. That's really weird. I'm not sure what's going on there. Hmm. Alright, be careful. Prime might spawn in. Watch out. You gotta be really careful. The the prime jellyfish can spawn in really quickly. Here we go. There's that prime jelly right there. Oh, we missed. We missed completely. Here we go. Full charge. Get him. There we go. <laughs> Not too bad. Not great. All right. We definitely need some more levels. Come on. All right, so this is what I'm going to do, guys. Let me take this guy out, and then I'm going to go around and just keep wrecking face. Hopefully not die. Hopefully nothing bad happened. And I'll bring you back when we're a little bit better uh, damage-wise. All right, guys, back at the bad place. We've got quite a few levels in now. We're up to 22 million health, 6... What was that? 6,000 melee. I don't think he's quite as powerful as the other one. Maybe? Let's see. Yeah, so 2 million at a, at, at a decent charge. So not quite the 5 million that the other guy was at. But we'll get there in a minute if I can find... A couple brood mothers and something else that I can take out. We could definitely get there really quick. Oh, we got four more levels on ourselves. Holy cow. Our personal level's up to 486. Ridiculous. At that point, you can't even tell anymore. All right. Take out some wyverns. What's up, man? There we go. Another level. We really need something big to take out. Like I, said, I don't know my way through here real well. We do have to watch out for lightning. We did test it out. Uh, lightning aloe still knocks us off. Uh, I don't know about like a regular lightning. We'll have to go attack like a iguanodon or something smaller. Here we go. There we go. 1.7 is not too bad on those guys, right? There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad, man. We'll take that. Finish this guy off. There's one of the aloes over there. You gotta be careful. All right, where are you at health-wise? Just under. This guy had 3.7 million. He started off a little higher. There we go, 200,000, and done. There we go. That should give us some good levels. All right, anything else? Oh, there's the boss rhino. See, the boss rhino has a lot of health, though. It would take us forever to finish him off. 51 million? Yeah, that's... Uh, I would love to, but that's just too much. There we go. Close to 100 levels put into damage now. 88 levels put into damage. That's not bad. Let's keep moving here. Let's see where we're at now. Here we go. Come here, dude. 2.2 million. Thank you. There's the Broodmother. There's the XP. That's the XP bug right there. Yeah, take that, man. There we go. Go ahead. Come get some, man. Look at that. Sinestro on our shoulder. Keeping us safe. Good job. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Let's go take out a couple more things over here. There we go. Nice. Let's we'll check how many levels we got. Oh, there's a prime tape jar over there. 
Not gonna mess with that guy. He does all the attacks. Let's keep going this way. There we go. Three million, not bad. There's one of those aloe guys. Man, this place is crazy back here. Yeah, usually we're following autos. So we're super safe because we have all the hope in the world. It's not the thing today. A one shot. Yes. All right. Hold on. We got to turn around. Oh, here we go. We got all this stuff following us. There we go. Two million. <laughs> here we go. Wyverns are pretty good XP, too. We'll take that, too. Come here, dude. Got it. Bam. Heal up. All right. 42 levels. Yes. There we go. We're going all melees. We got really good health. Oh, Broodmother's close. Oh, we got 20 more levels right there. Nice. Come on. There we go. 140 into damage. All right. Where's it? Broodmother. Here we go. Easy one shot. Watch this. Here we go. 3.3 million. Very nice. Take that, Broodmother. All right. Prime Wyvern will be a thing that we go after very soon. We definitely need one. All right. There we go. He's just a regular Prime Allo, right? He's got really good health. Oh, good. The Prime Dragon's over here. Prime Wyvern. There we go. Got him. How about this Prime Drake? Oh, a Spectral Wyvern. What's up? I'm trying to look at the Prime Drake over here. 480? No. If he's a high level, we would stop what we were doing. There you go, though, man. Not looking bad in terms of levels. There you go. Get it. Oh, what is that? Oh, hold on. Ghost Saber? No. Time to go. We're not quite ready for a Ghost Saber. We don't have a good saddle on to keep us safe either. Look at that Prime Tape Jar's wrecking face over here. 480 Tape Jar. We'll definitely try to get ourselves a Prime Tape Jar soon, but for right now, let's just stay away. We'll check our levels one more time, and then we'll probably head back. Uh, let's see. Go see if we can get all those babies hatched up. There we go. We got 286. Just regular. It's really good. Really good. Very nice. All right. Let's go ahead and get these last levels pumped. Test it out one more time. All right. There we go. 170. Let's test it. So just regular with no speed at all. We're at 328. Very nice. And then full speed. There we go. Full speed. 4.4 million. There you go. Now we're looking at about the same levels that we were at with the Prime. Now we're doing good. And we still got quite a few more levels we can pump into this guy. We'll probably wait until we get with Auto and actually follow him around. Do some really good leveling on this guy. See if I can get him maxed out. Oh, well, 6 million on that guy though. That's pretty amazing. Alright, cool. Alright guys, I'll see you guys back at base. All right, no, I said I'm going back to base, but look. Got to hit this guy. Come here. Oh, I missed. Prime Giga. Give me your Prime Blood. We can use that Prime Blood to evolve something later. Turn around. Can't seem to hit this guy. Holy cow. There we go. All right, there we go. We're going to park this guy down here with the big guys. This is like the big guy yard down here. Stake goes down here, too. We also got a few Pteranodons that we were actually just sorting out earlier. These are all the guys that are getting put up because I either don't like their color or they're not enough. Uh, either their color combination is not good or their level is not high enough. Either one. Either one. There we go. Pick all these guys up real quick and then we'll go check on all those babies up there. And we'll go ahead and hatch a few up and see if they come out with some cool colors. There we go. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and ride all these back up. We could teleport up, but we'll ride these. There we go. And one more. There we go. All right. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Rubber band. Hopefully that's not because there's a storm about to start. That does happen quite a bit. All right. Let's get rid of all the trandons that I have on my inventory. We'll go throw them over here. I've been trying to keep everything a little bit sorted in the Dino Soul stations. Uh, so all these trandons can just go in here. Oh, actually, don't we have a jelly? Okay. Let's throw you right out here so I don't forget about you. There. You wait there. Now the rest of them can go in here. Like so. Alright, that gets them all out of the way. Now let's go check on the actual babies. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully we'll get some really good ones. Alright, grab all those. So now what's kind of cool is when they when these are born, 
They end up over here first, right? Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. They end up over here first. So you check inside here for the fertilized eggs, which we may have lost some because it was off. Dang it, why do we do that? Uh, and then you, so you go from here. I'm sorry, here. You shut this off. You drop the egg. You turn this off, turn it back on. It'll pick up all the fertilized eggs for you. Sometimes it'll pick it up on its own, but just it's quicker if you turn it off, turn it on. And then once these guys are ready to hatch, you come in here, and now we just drop them like crazy. And they'll open before we even get the chance to see them all. Oh, no, they're not getting picked up. Are you out of soul balls? Oh, we're out of soul balls. There we go. Here we go. Watch. Okay. Pick them up. Oh, no. Do your thing, man. Our soul station isn't doing its thing. Usually, they get picked up right away. These are really cool colors, though. Look at all these little guys. All right. Come on. It's got some of them. Pick up the rest of them. It's just not happening. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, dude. Okay, so what we can do, since that did not work. I can't believe that didn't work, man. All right, so the quickest way, now that we have this little disaster going, the quickest way to do this is to actually soul ball them. Instead of trying to go around and and uh, hit the E button and do that, the soul... Oh, we don't have soul traps? Wow, the struggles are real today. Soul traps. Let's make, like, a crazy mount. There we go. Oh, we got a little bit of lag going. Might be caused by us. All right, but yeah, the quickest way is just to soul them up because it go ahead, it claims it for you, and then it takes them off a of wander, and it just makes it easier. Look at the colors on these guys. These guys are amazing looking. Yeah, I, we messed up by not having the soul station full. There we go. Yeah, you can tell that last one was definitely Sinestro's baby. Dang it, man. <laughs> All right. Any more wandering babies? Alright, so we got all those ones. And then these should be the infernals inside of here. Alright, all infernals. Maybe a couple that aren't. Lightning. Okay, so a couple that are not. Alright, we'll get all these. Bam. Okay. Now, we just sit there and start throwing all these out. All the babies. And we try to keep it somewhat organized. So we've got... I think that said... Oh, I didn't really get a look. Alright, lightning... All right, elemental fire, lightning again, and I try to keep them somewhat organized like this. That way, when we come back and get them later, it makes it a little easier. Prime lightning, we'll put over here. We've done this quite a few times now, so this is kind of the the method for it. Poison guy, back over here. There we go. Fire. All right, let me get all these guys placed out, and we'll take a look at them. There we go. Got them all out. So check these out. So it looks like the poisons didn't get much other than a little bit of wing coloration. You can see the kind of the light green wing there. And then the light wing there. I think this is the guy that's actually mutated. The fire guys are starting to get the color that I wanted. We were going for this red and white stripe. And we're starting to get some of it. This guy, oh, this, that one's actually kind of cool. The darker. That one's the red and white. That one's the red and white. And that's actually quite a bit different from the regular fire guy. Do we have a fire one over there to show you? I don't have one out to show you guys right now. Uh, and then the, the uh, lightning guys. I thought this was a prime lightning guy. Let me double check. Lightning... Yeah, just elemental lightning. But look, he got like the same colors as those guys over there. Look at that. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, he got like a pink and a blue. That might be... We might take that to Teru. Uh, this one got the blue and white. This is the one we were going for right here. I really like the blue and white color. And then the yellow and blue. And then the prime guys got all kinds of different things going on. And they got a blue and white. The, those are Sinestro's babies, clearly. Let me check. Guarantee Sinestro. Yeah, look, Sinestro snuck in there. Dang, man. Sinestro killing the line. All right. Uh, this one got a little bit of pink. This one went all drab on us. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. That guy went all pink. Just regular blue. I, I do like the blues. And then this guy went drab with yellow. So really interesting how the colors end up working out on some of these. But there you go. So we're going to let those guys grow up. We've got the Infernal Rhino, which is amazing. And we got this guy, which is pretty cool. Can we ride him without a saddle? We need a saddle. I think... This might be one of those ones that takes a wyvern saddle. Let me see. Is it wyvern? We're going to test it. It's, it's usually something like that. A lot of the dinos that don't typically have saddles, or if they if you can't get the regular one to work, and there's no eternal one, they take the wyvern saddle. Yeah, there it is. There we go. There we go. We got ourselves a jelly. 
There we go. I don't think you're ready for the jelly. Very nice. Very, very cool, man. Or if you guys watch the uh, the Detective Pikachu movie, that you can fill it in your jellies. Kind of funny. Uh, these guys are pretty cool. They've got the right click, which does like the beam attack. They've got their left click, which also does a shock when it attacks. I think that's the main ones. They don't have anything else yet, but they should get an AoE attack is what they should get. But these guys are really cool. And this guy can actually evolve right into a prime. So obviously we got to level him up first. He's not a... He's only level 479. We probably should just find a better one. So maybe in the next level, next level, next episode, we'll go look for a higher level jellyfish. That might not be a bad idea at all. So let's park him up here. We can hang out on the side up here. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. We got a little bit done today. Not too bad. Uh, oh, oh. There we go. Don't fall off the edge, please. Perfect. We didn't die. Uh, but yeah, we got a little bit done today. Not too bad of an episode in terms of success. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it, having a lot of fun with the series. I will see you guys in the next episode of Extinction Eternal. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.